Hi, I'm Donald McIntyre, founder of Etherplan. And in this video, I'm going to quickly explain the Ethereum Classic monetary policy. The monetary policy of Ethereum Classic starts first with, with 72,009,990 ETC that were pre-mined. Uh, this was when Ethereum and Ethereum Classic were one single chain. Then uh, in, uh, in block 1,920,000, Ethereum forked away from the main chain. So Ethereum Classic is the main chain since the beginning. Uh, but uh, Ethereum took another path. Uh, and the date uh, of this fork was in July 20th of 2016. The important thing is that both chains, when, they were, when, it, when it was founded in the pre-mine, uh, on July 30th, 2015, they both got this, these 72,009,990 uh, ETC, of which 60,009,990 went to the crowd sale investors, so it's many, many investors who participated. Uh, this means that the, those 60 million are not really considered uh, centralizing for, for either Ethereum or ETC and 12 million went to the developers, co-founders, and the Ethereum Foundation's treasury. These 12 million, a lot, several million uh, were already sold uh, by them, especially on the ETC side after they forked because they attacked Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, by selling in the market. And that's when, that's when, for example, Barry Silbert bought millions of ETC at a ridiculously low price, below $1 per, per ETC. Um, and also, even the Ethereum Foundation sold their, their, their ETC to, to depress the price and try to end the main chain. Uh, but that's, that's all political and anecdotal. The, this video just wants to say that this is the pre-mine. ETC also has this pre-mine, but in a different composition than Ethereum because of these events that I, that I said. Then um, Ethereum Classic changed the monetary policy. Originally, Ethereum had a monetary policy when the both chains were one, that it was to issue five ETC per block. And um, then it had a, an uncle block reward that would, uh, that would include the uh, two uncle blocks to add two uncle blocks to the main block that was chosen every 15 seconds and a small fee as, a, as an incentive for miners to include uncle blocks. This is, this is because of a propagation issue in the network. So it was judged at the beginning that it was good to have uncle blocks. Um, for, for blocks that had the block and the, and the maximum capability of two uncle blocks, uh, plus the, the, the incentive fee for miners, the total reward in that case would have been, or was from, from block 1 million to 5 million in the case of ETC, 14.0625 ETC per block or Ether in the case of Ether. Then Ethereum uh, changed their monetary policy. They, they lowered it from five to three, then from three to two. Then recently they changed the fee model. So they're burning ETC. And that's managed uh, non-algorithmically and non in a non-deterministic way manually by the Ethereum community. In the, in the case of ETC, it was changed uh, where this first era or era one from one mil so from block one to one to five million, it would pay as it was set in the beginning. Um, this, uh, this era ended in December 11th of 2017. And the inflation in this first era up to block 5 million was 14%. And the, the supply at the end of this era was 98,491,771 uh, ETC. Uh, the era two um, went from block 5 million and one to block 10 million. It went from the end of the previous era, December 11, 2017, uh, until March 17th, 17th of 2020. Uh, and from then on, the algorithmic and deterministic uh, monetary policy of ETC, that's important to, to, to note. ETC has a monetary policy forever, and that is going to have a cap of 210 million ETC, and is going down in these steps. 
from era 1 to era, era 2, entonces the, the block reward of the main block was reduced to from 5 to 4. And then the uncle block reward plus the incentive for the miner to include up to two blocks was 50, 50, uh, half a, 50 cents of an ETC or half an ETC for a total of four and a half ETC when you have a block plus uncle blocks. It's important to note that uncle blocks are very rare. Only 5.4% of the time on average, at least this is the, the average that I'm using to project this, um, are blocks that are paid not only the four ETC per block, but also um, if, um, half an ETC extra for the two uncle blocks and the minor fee. So it's, very, it's a very small incidence. It's only 5.4% of the blocks that, that have also uncle blocks and these extra fees. Um, then the inflation in this period was 8.12%. So you see how the, the, with the, just like Bitcoin does the halvening, ETC in these eras, every 5 million blocks, it does what we call the fifth inning, fifth, fifth inning because it's a 20% discount every 5 million blocks. And so we go, we go discounted by one-fifth the, the block rewards, both for the main block uh, and for the uncle blocks. Um, by the end of, of this era, which was uh, last year, um, there were 118,559,270 ETC issued. The third, the third um, this is very important uh, and I'm trying to stress on social media for everybody to, to, to know that the third era uh, is going to end on block 15 million. We are now, I think, on block 13,500,000 more or less. Uh, and I estimate that the rest of the blocks uh, remaining um, are, um, if, we, if we calculate 13.38 seconds per block, which is the latest average, um, uh, then uh, this era, or we're going to reach block 15 million uh, by May 2nd of 2022, which is uh, 230 days from now, 235 days uh, from today. Today is September 1st. So it's very, it's very, uh, this era we, that we are now, which is from block 10 million and one to, to block 15 million has an inflation of 5.49%. 5, 5 so we're still in a relatively high inflation period for ETC. This is, this is another reason why ETC has lagged compared to Bitcoin and, and, and Ethereum. No, Ethereum reduced the supply uh, very drastically although they do it manually and, and that's very subjective and it's not secure, but that's what they've done and that's why Ethereum has gone up faster than ETC because ETC con continues to issue and it's never going to change. But the inflation is going to, at some point, very, be, be, be very minimal, very, very small, just like, it, just like Bitcoin. Bitcoin, every four years, they go uh, halvening or cutting by half the reward and the inflation is already very low in Bitcoin. Uh, ETC, um, does the, the, the fifth innings of ETC come every, uh, every 800, eight, from eight, 810,000 block, um, day, sorry, from 810 days to 868 days. Uh, so that's more or less, uh, on average 2.39 years. Um, so it's a little bit, the, the fifth innings of, of ETC are a little bit faster so that we catch up with, with Bitcoin in terms of low inflation. So we are here currently until we get to May 2nd or block 15 million, we're going to be here, which is ETC is paying 3.2 per normal block. And then whenever there are uncle blocks, which is again, a very, only 5.4% of the occurrences or blocks have also uncle blocks and a minor fee, uh, it was discounted by 20% from 50 cents of ETC to 40 cents of ETC uh, for a total uh, maximum block payment possible of 3.60 ETC. And um, by the end of, 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 of this era at block 15 million or, or, or May 2nd more or less, uh, there's going to be a total supply of 134 million 613,270. We are now more or less at 130 million, so it's four more million ETC. This is why, again, 
we we are all watching the price of etc and 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 i my price predictions are based on total market capitalization and it already includes this dilution so the price the price targets are correct in terms of uh the price target the assumptions but also with this issuance of etc but because we have this 5.49 percent inflation per year we still have a lot of supply from miners and and this could be one of the reasons why ETC is lagging, although it's performing incredibly well, even uh, with, this, with, with this present inflation. Uh, the next era is going to start on May 2nd. It's going to go from May 2nd until approximately August 7th of 2024. So we're going to do another fifth inning and we're going to pay 2.56 ETC per block. For those 5.4% of the blocks that also have Uncle Block, there is going to be an addition of 32 cents of ETC uh, for a total of 2.88 in those occurrences uh, specifically. So here I'm pointing out we 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 have to bear in mind then that uh, that from now until May, this era is going to end and we're going to go again. We're going to go to a low, even lower supply of ETC. And it's important because it already starts to look like a low inflation, 3.91%. It's not as low as Bitcoin or as low as gold, which is 1.7% dilution per year. But uh, by 2024, we're going to go down again. And I'm going to show now how the, the, the things are going to go digamos, in the future eras. So this, this slide I have posted on social media for me is very important. This is the report. Um, to bear in mind that we are in this uh, nearby event no? and that is going to repeat every point 2.39 years or more or less 868 uh, days top. So this is the article, the Ethereum Classic Monetary Policy, where I explain all the components and everything in detail and, and how the ETC monetary policy is, is very similar to Bitcoin's monetary policy that was on purpose and the, the components, the pre-mine that I mentioned, the eras. I give examples, era two, era, era one, era two, era three. And here in this table, I, I put a projection of all the eras uh, until the year 2136. No? So every five million blocks you see here, block number zero, five, five million, 10 million, 15 million. We are here, we are in this period that is going to end in 2022, May 2nd, as I said before, with this projected supply at that time, and this is the infl inflation now. And then the next period that is, that is going to start on May 2nd is going to finish by block 20 million, is going to be era four, and the estimated year is 2025. Did I put 2025 in the other? Oh, I made a mistake here. Um, so it's 2025, not 2024. Um, no, or, may, or maybe it's 2024 because maybe it was in December or January, something like that. And in this estimate, I use a different uh, count, day count. Um, oh, let me go back. So both must be correct. I just adjusted a little bit because if the, if the blocks are 15 seconds or 16 seconds, uh, it changes incredibly the amount of, of, of time or, or, or if they are 14 seconds or 13 seconds. Now I did 13.38 seconds and that's why the other date is, is 2024, now I remember. So both, both are right, it, it just depends on what, but, uh, and, uh, and are also very close. It's usually a difference between 30 and 50 days, depending on how many seconds on average the the, the ETC network is, is producing uh, blocks at. Okay, so, so in this era, as you can see, the inflation is going to go down uh, in this era, now in the era that we're going to start, that we're going, we're going to start on May 2nd, is going to be 3.91, and then by 2027, or a little bit earlier, is going to be 2.87, and then by era six in 2029 is going to be 2.16. And you are gonna see here like by, by 2036, we're already below gold and, and an inflation of less than 1% supply of this. This, in, this, this the, any, anyhow, this, this period where we are still with an inflation of 
nearly four and going down to three, two, one, etc. We don't have to be very concerned because the growth of Ethereum Classic, like in Bitcoin at the beginning and Ethereum, etc., is much larger than the four, three, two, or one percent inflation. There's many more people buying ETC than the amount of ETC that we're that we're producing on a daily basis or yearly basis. Uh, proof of that is, or not proof, but an indication of that is that the daily volume of ETC, depending on who counts, can be from eight hundred million dollars a day to four billion dollars a day, and that's millions of ETC per day, and and um, and that's much, that's very yeah, most, that that volume can very very quickly absorb um, the supply that we're producing. Well, now, anyway, so this article, uh, I'm going to put this this link in the in the below this video and so it has the block rewards explanation incentive to add uncle blocks this is for miners to include the uncle blocks maximum uncle blocks per uh, per block uncle block rewards un uncle block rate everything is explained here in detail discount of rewards per block uh, and then the resulting all these rules that the monetary policy has results in this overall um, supply and 